I think the players prefer to play games and uh, practice too much. So, um, yeah, it's a high volume of games, but, you know, there's no travel involved. So, um, I think the guys will enjoy it. Yeah, it's uh, three games in, in five days, but uh, look, the, it's worse. We've had worse combinations when we've traveled. We've actually traveled to New Zealand and back and played games. So, uh, in the three games in five days. So, being in one spot, you know, it's, that's what we work on in fitness during preseason. And um, yeah, no, we're looking forward to it. Team five times out of uh, nine games, it's uh, quite unique, really. Um, you only really get that in the in the playoffs. So, but to do it in the regular season, a little bit different. So, um, you know, they're a quality team. They've had some really, really good wins. Uh, obviously, Mitch Creek is a handful. So, um, yeah, we're going to have to do a good job uh, with it and hopefully better than last time. Remember, he's a development player. You know, he's not even in the contract at 10. So, uh, you know, we're giving him an opportunity. Now it's up to him to run with it and same as I say, all the players, and it doesn't matter if you're a starter or off the bench, if you've got a game, have you got it going on the game, I'm going to stay with you. And we've had a couple of instances where the DPs have been playing well, so I've stayed with them. And, um, you know, a couple of guys off the bench have been playing well, so I've stayed with them. I've, I've done that my whole career. Um, the guys will get an opportunity, and if they've got it going, I'll stay with them. So it's enabled us to get a little bit of routine to get a regular training spot and a gym spot without, uh, you know, crossing the country and you don't know who you're playing. So a lot of more settled uh, with the being in the one spot, but, uh, you know, we're, we're terribly miss home and can't wait to get back and play in front of the Red Army. It's only home court when you sleep in your own bed. That's, uh, that's, that's who home court it is. But, you know, we, we played um, Sydney in a neutral place. We played Cairns in a neutral place. So uh, now we've got to play Phoenix at their home game, home court. So, you know, there's some added bonuses and benefits, but also, um, you know, we, we understand we're here in Melbourne playing games. So we've got no illusion that who gets the benefit. Both ends of the court, John's been, uh, you know, he's one of our hardest workers out there and really buys into what we're doing. And um, he, he's fitted really seamlessly in there. Now he's just building relationship with players on the court but uh, look, he, he is a workhorse. That's what we love. He rolls his sleeves up and uh, gets to it. And, and um, you know, he's had a great start to the season. I don't know where that is at the moment. Uh, the last I heard that he got permanent residence. So I think there's still a process that we have to go through to get uh, citizenship. But, you know, I've said it before that we have an ongoing list of, of players, Australians and uh, overseas players. So. Um, you know, that's current and still is current. We're casting wide and, and, you know, we're pretty happy with the team we've got at the moment and we'll wait and see how long that takes for Bryce's citizenship to come through. And uh, we're certainly not banking on it that, um, you know, that'll happen sooner or later. But uh, if it does, it gives us a great opportunity to uh, upgrade uh, if we need to at that time.